hello there, YouTube, and Lock and Load Ninjas and Internet at large. Today, we're going to cover some territory that we've covered before. With Agency Arms and Nighthawk Custom, back in 2017, they decided to do uh, what was, I don't know if they ever intended for it to be a one-off, but they did something called the Agent One. Limited to 50 guns. Uh, they introduced it at the NRA annual meeting in, I believe, Louisville. So, of course, they sold every one of those uh, before they, uh, they, they had one at the show. The other 49 got sold while, the, while we were there. I never got to shoot it. I did get to hold it. I was impressed with the gun, but at the same time, it was, it's, for an for a company like Nighthawk Custom, which takes the 1911 platform and pulls it into the 21st century engineering world, and makes just a really good solid running platform, for them to collaborate with Agency Arms, which brings in some a little bit more modern machining technique to it, as far as the way they work the slide and everything else. Um, was nobody had ever done that, that I know of. Now, since then, there have been other collaborations like those. But, of course, the Agent 1, there, that was limited to 50 guns, and I never got to shoot it, I never got to hold it. Then, in 2018, at SHOT Show, they debuted the Agent 2. This was a little more of a collaboration. I don't know who all the players were at the time in 2017. This is uh, Agency Arms, Nighthawk Custom, Hillbilly 223, and Rail Scales all combined. Uh, Hillbilly 223, I believe, is the finish. Rail Scales, grip panels. Agency Arms, you can see the distinctive A cut right there. They did the slide work, and everything was put together at Nighthawk Custom. I know that there were certain people that, uh, you know, uh, for example, I know Steve Fisher had a little bit to do with this gun actually coming into being. So for that, for that reason, this gun has always been like a, it's, it's been a, I've spent more time with this gun in the last two weeks than I, I never, I never held it in 2018. Never held this gun, except at the range at SHOT Show where I got to shoot two magazines out of it. Those were two really nice magazines of ammo to go. So this time when we took this gun to the range, well, I got to spend a little more time with it this time.
Okay, so that's what it looks like at the range, uh, which is superb. Okay, superb. It's up there. It's right up there with the finest 1911s you're going to find. What makes this gun distinct is, uh, you know, it's it's got, well, first of all, you've got the you got the high knee sights on it, which is a Nighthawk thing. That's a Nighthawk custom special touch. Fiber optic front sight. Just the black blade on the back. And looking at this, like all Nighthawk customs, you can see the fit, the way this, that's a hallmark. That fit of that slide, which all the best gunsmiths do that. Then you've got slightly enlarged safety slide stop. A really nice beveled magwell. I really like that. I like the texturing, which is not checkering, but at the same time, it's very functional on front and back. The trigger is a very, very short reset. The gun, the balance of the gun is now this has a uh, this has an accessory rail on it. If that's something you want, which is uh, a little bit different for most of the guns that I've dealt with with Nighthawk. I'm sure there's plenty of others that are quite tacked up. I just haven't got my hands on them. Although that's coming. I want to take this moment and talk about the elephant in the room. Because there's going to be a lot of people out there saying, I would never pay that much for a gun. The, with any gun, with any handgun, there are going to be varying degrees of engineering. And the engineering is what you're paying for. Um, for some, they would say, there's, well, there's the whole diminishing returns thing, Bill. I understand that. But shooting a gun made by a maker like this versus, say, any out-of-the-box gun that comes in at a price point less than 1000 bucks, with the 1911, unfortunately, uh, you would see a difference. You would see a difference. I'm not talking reliability, but I am talking function. I have shot a Nighthawk Custom Falcon now, a lot. I've never had a stovepipe. I've never had a misfire. Uh, maybe I've just been lucky with the ammunition on the misfire parts. And the gun runs and feels the same way it did the day I took it out of the box. So, I know this is not a gun for everybody. Nighthawk Custom knows that they, their, their, their clientele is not everybody out there that might be buying looking at a 1911. What they have sought out, what, what, what they seek to do is just build the best 1911s out there. So that's why there's this engineering. The, 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 they have the edge in the engineering. One gun, one gunsmith. Remember that. That's their, that's their thing. And, uh, you know, one guy took this from a bunch of raw materials and turned it into this. So, think what you will of that. This gun, as a carry gun, would work quite well. 10 round capacity, 9 millimeter. Um, I really like the uh, coned barrel. I really like that, just from, a, from, an, from an aesthetic point of view. Um, notice that all of these are bushings. They, they, all have, they, they all have bushings instead of guide rods. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. It just comes down to how much excellence you're willing to pay for. That's all there is to it. A real quick breakdown. You've got some windows in these, all of these things that you see on the slide. These are, uh, what agency does, does is they, they're trying to get the slide to where as the slide is running back and forth, it's just running flat. So these deep serrations, which you can see, these are deeper than your typical cocking serrations. These windows into the, into the gun on either side and these cutouts right here, that's all to lighten the slide to a degree to where this is going to just run flat, which you, you saw on the, saw on the range. This is a very flat running gun. Very well, very well set up. Um, I'm very impressed with this. This is a gun that has stuck in my consciousness since I first laid hands on it in January of 2018.
and I finally got to get 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 some time with it and shoot it and take it to the range. And next next, gosh, what is the day? Day is the fifth. So in 30 days, I'm going to be coming back from Nighthawk Custom because I'm going to go out there and I'm going to film their operation. I'm going to film what they do. I'm going to film what they build. I'm going to film every gun that's already built that I can. We're going to look at their new facility. We're going to look at, we're going to talk to Mark Stone. Uh, you know, we're going to talk to uh, Alan Wyatt, one of the engineers. We're going to talk to everybody we can and talk about Nighthawk. So pull back the curtain on the company and let you look at that. That's coming up very shortly. As far as this gun is concerned, highly recommended pistol. I know some of you are saying, well, cost too much. I just think that's a matter of opinion. You do get what you pay for. If you like this kind of content, and I hope you do, um, maybe give me a thumbs up, even though I said you get what you pay for. <laughs> maybe subscribe to the Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I would like that very much as well. And I'll see you the next time.